Calculated fields are one of the most useful things in Tableau because it allows you to manipulate your data to get new insights and enhance your analyses, as well as add more detail to your visualizations. Calculated fields normally use existing fields from your data set to create these custom fields with the help of formulas and functions. We'll jump right into two sample use cases of calculated fields in this section, but if you want to go straight to creating them, you can go directly to the creating calculated fields section of this video. For our first use case, we can use calculated fields to manipulate our data and find the averages of sales, quantity, or any type of averages in general. So let's say we want to find the average sales per customer. What we can do is create this calculated field, which I've done here called average sales per customer. And it consists of the total sales divided by the unique number of customers. We'll go over how I created this calculated fields after I talk about creating calculated fields in general. But here in this visualization, we have the average sales per customer for each year from 2019 to 2022. And what we can see is that customers are spending more every year with a significant linear increase from 2020 to 2022. So another use case of calculated fields is to use it for creating conditional statements, the if else statements. Here I have a very simple conditional statement that's just if else customer spend, where if a customer spends less than 500 or equal to $500, they are considered a low spend customer. If they spend between 500 to $5,000, then they are considered a medium spend customer. And if they spend over $5,000, then they are a high spend customer. So after creating this conditional statements calculated field, here I've used it and dragged it to the color marks so that we can see a color for each of the different categories. And if we look at a visualization, for example, here I have the sales and quantity for each customer. And what we can see is that for the low spend customers, their sales and quantity is relatively low. And then when we look at the medium spend customers, most of the customers spend approximately $2,000 and has a quantity of 40. And then when we look at the high spend customers, they're more scattered, which means that some customers are buying lower quantities of very expensive items, and some customers are buying high quantities of cheaper items. These are just two sample use cases for calculated fields in Tableau, but there are endless use cases for these calculated fields, so it is something that you definitely want to be proficient in. Now let's go over how to create these calculated fields as well as the syntax for them. So to create any calculated field, you can right click on an existing field and then go to create and click on calculated field. This will pop up a calculation editor for you to create the calculated field in. And since we created this calculated field from an existing field, the field has automatically populated in square brackets. So when we're referring to other fields in a calculation, they will always be placed in square brackets. So square brackets and then the name of the field. So another way to create a calculated field is from this downwards arrow here. If we click on it, we can create a calculated field. And here it's the same thing. It pops up a calculation editor. And then up here in this box, it's for naming the calculated field. So let's just name this example one. When you start typing any word with a italic F, so let's just say M, here we see the italic F, it'll denote that it's a function. So if we click on it, functions are always followed by round brackets so that you can place parameters inside of them or like other fields. So say if we click on sum and maybe we want the sum of sales, when I just write sales and then enter, we can see that the sales field is surrounded by square brackets now. A great thing about this calculation editor is that when you start typing in a function, you can hover over the suggested function to see what it returns. So here for the sum, it returns the sum of values in an expression. If we hover over running sum, we can see that it returns the running sum of the expression. So now I'm just going to put sales, sum of sales back in so that we can complete the calculated field later on. 
In the right sidebar here, you have a list of functions available in Tableau, and you can click on one of them to see exactly what it does and how we can use it. So as an example for split, to use it, we would need to have a string, a delimiter, and a token number. And what this function returns is a substring from the string as determined by the delimiter extracting the characters from the beginning or end of the string. To finish off this calculated field, all we have to do is click on OK, and this calculated field appears in our data pane. And we can know that it's a calculated field because it has an equal sign next to the field. Anything with an equal sign next to the field denotes that it is a calculated field. So now if we go back to creating the two calculated fields we used in the example, the first one was the average sales per customer. If I click on edit, we can see that it's just the sum of sales field, which is here, divided by the distinct count of customers. And then let's take a look at what those fields are. So the sum of sales is just using the sum functions and then summing our field sales. And then the distinct count of customers here is just the distinct count of the customer's name. And one customer could have made more than one transaction per year. So what we want is the distinct count instead of just the count itself, because there's two different functions we can use. And then that's how we created this visualization, where this is the average sales per customer for that given year. And then for the other calculated field, it was the if else customer spend. So if we take a look at that, it is just conditional statements. So if the sum of sale is less than or equal to 500, then it is a low spend customer. And how Tableau calculates fields is it goes from a top down approach. So it checks this condition first. And if a customer meets this condition, then they will have the low spend categorization. If not, then it will move to the next one. So this way we don't have to put the full equality in because customers under 500 will be checked in the first condition. So everything under 5,000, but over 500 will be a medium spend customer. And then all else, it would be a high spend customer. Next, we'll go over a few tips and tricks. And one of them is when you're working with a large data set, it can be very useful to create calculated fields in advance for commonly used aggregations like the distinct count of customers as I've done here, so that every time you drag the customer name into the field, you don't have to change the aggregation to a count to get the count of customer names. This can save you a lot of time because for large data sets, even dragging this customer name out into the view can take a long time to process. Another useful thing to know when working with calculated fields is for table calculations, you can determine what the underlying function is by right clicking the field in the view and then clicking the edit and shelf. This here is a quick table calculation for the running total. So when we're edit and shelf, we can see exactly what the calculated field is. So if we copy and paste this and then create a calculated field for running sum and then paste this in here, we can have that calculated field. And then when we drag it out to our view, we can see that it is exact same as the table calculation. By being able to know what the table calculations are and being able to copy them into calculated fields, we can create more advanced and complex calculated fields for other purposes. To summarize what we went through in this calculated fields video, calculated fields are mainly used to manipulate existing data to create new insights for enhancing your analysis. They're super easy to create from existing fields just by right clicking on the field and then going to create and then calculated field. That pops up a calculation editor, which I have down here, where existing fields are surrounded by square brackets. So sales is the existing field and functions are followed by round brackets that wrap around the parameters or expressions. And in this case, the expression is just the sales field. If you don't know how to use any of the functions, you can always find it in the right side pane here, attached to the calculation editor for an explanation on what the expected results are for that function and what parameters are needed for that function. Last but not least, I use calculated fields for convenience, especially when I'm working with large data sets where 
Even simple aggregations can take a long time to process, so I create calculated fields that do those aggregations. That concludes this video on calculated fields in Tableau. If you enjoyed this video and want to be updated every time I post a new video, I would love for you to subscribe to me. I post a new video every Thursday.